Hello and welcome to our introduction into our very own Fortran build environment. My name is Holger and I'm a member of the ARC Center of Excellence for Climate System Sciences, CMS team. In this short video, I will introduce you to the Fortran build environment, more specifically, how to acquire the environment, how to build the examples, and give an overview of the configuration. Without further ado, let's start. The environment is located on GitHub at the coe cms slash fortran underscore build underscore environment dot git repository. Here I clone this repository into a local directory called power and show the tree. As you can see, there are separate directories for executable, module and tests, each containing a single example. The various cmakelists.txt files drive the build setup. To build, I first create a new subdirectory, debug, all caps, and in that directory I call cmake.dot. From the directory name, cmake deduces that I want to build a debug version and enables various debug settings for the compiler. Similarly, I can create a release, again all caps, directory to get CMake to compile without debug symbols and with maximum optimization. Because the generated files are in a different directory, I can clean up by simply deleting the release and debug directories completely. I can always recreate the content. Make install copies the executables and tests into the subdirectories bin and test respectively. I can now execute them. Let's have a closer look at the contents. First, I want to point out to have a close look at the readme.md file. While this video might be out of date when you watch it, the readme will always be updated with every change in the environment. The main cmakelists.txt is quite complex, but all you need to know is towards the end. This is where the subdirectories modules, executables and, if pfunit is installed, tests are included. In the module subdirectory is a very simple config file, which at this point only adds the mod1 directory. And in the mod1 directory there is another config file that declares the project mod1 as a Fortran project and all files ending in .f90 are part of it. The only source file, mod1.f90, declares a module with a single function that returns true if the parameter is 2. x1 is declared as a Fortran project with all .f90 files, but in addition to that, it is linked against module mod1. The example code of exe1 is a very simple program calling the function from the module. Test1 config file looks quite different, but that's not a big deal. All we are interested in is that the extension is .pf and that further down we again have to link against the module we want to test. The test file currently has only two tests. Test1 must also be included in the main config file with the add underscore test command to be available through make. Finally, I'd like to point our researchers who use the NCI computers to this section of the README file, where it describes which modules need to be loaded on Rajin, depending on whether your executable is serial or parallel.
In conclusion, I have shown you how to acquire the environment using Git, how to build the examples with CMake and Make, and explained the basic structure of our Fortran build environment. Join me next time when we use this knowledge to write our own module and executable and write our own tests to debug our code. Thanks for watching and see you next time.